Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to share two stories, one on this video and the second on the next, by Tammy. Just given first names. This is so good to me. I have had my own experiences with tarot cards and Ouija boards, and also with a drawing towards the occult through dreams and visions which appear to be good. Also, I have had manifestations of demonic activity in my house after I became a Christian. Because I was digging into the Word of God so diligently, I realized just how powerful the Word of God was and how much of a threat to the powers of darkness when both myself and my children were being tormented to try and get me to stop reading his word. That was the proposition the enemy presented me with. If you stop, I'll stop. Long story short, I said I'll take my chances with God and you are going to stop anyway. And then as I led, I was led by the Lord to do, I cleared out all of my horror and ghost movies from my house and anointed my house, my children, myself, and my best friend who helped me cleanse my home. The enemy left because he had no choice and the torment stopped. Listen. There are proactive ways where we really, this is Pat's two cents. We have to be proactive and aggressive. The Bible says the violent take it by force. We have to take our freedom. We have to demand the powers that be on the evil side to get out of our house. They have no legal right unless we give them legal right. She took the legal right away by getting rid of the horror movies. Did you notice that? When you get rid of things that are associated with the occult in any way, shape, or form, you are freeing yourself from the bondage. You are also uh, yielding your home, your life, everything to the will of the Holy Spirit. And demons have to go. When you are living a life for God, demons do try to attack. However, they are trespassing. They have no legal right. You go through your house if you notice attacks in your sleep or whatever. And you cleanse your house. I remember I had to take a video. I was watching the video. And when I saw the upside down cross, I put that thing, I pulled it out of the uh, the cassette player, put it in my um, pocketbook, got in my car and drove straight to the video place and said, here, you take this. It is demonic. I'll choose something else. I don't allow anything that is opposed to God's ways or God in any way, shape, or form, or that mocks the crucifixion of Jesus, I will not allow that in my house. And you should not either. You shouldn't be passive about that. That is something you should be as aggressive as a pit bull. You hear me? So, I'm going to stop. But use the authority you have. Take authority, bless your home, cleanse your home spiritually, anoint it with oil. Don't sit in your house and spit out a bunch of cuss words. Don't sit up there and, and um, start committing sins in your home, sexual sins, whatever. Because whatever sins you agree with in your home, you know, we all slip and slide. We all make mistakes. We all commit in unintentional sins but when you are intentionally doing things over and over there is no sorrow you're just making excuses and you do it anyway you have opened your door wide 
and invited the spirits and the works of darkness to be at home in your house. 